Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today I have come with a very interesting topic as you can see my screens and you might have understood what topic is today. So uh, we all are familiar with the you know um, daily progress reports, monthly progress reports but sometimes we need to create a daily progress reports and it is mandatory for everyone whoever is into the construction side because we have to submit a weekly progress report to our senior manager and uh, to the consultant so this is important topics and i think uh, uh, we have to create a you know, like uh, very precise and very, you know visualizing uh, report so that we can see that uh, what are the tasks and whatever the activities or maybe the milestones or it could be anything that present the weekly progress reports and you can see the overall so this is the uh, duration of one week so this is the activity we are going to do so that will give you the very overview of your projects and it will track your, track your projects uh, to be completed on time and it will give the clear visualizations of your project that's what needs to happen in this week because uh, <clears throat> we have so many activities and you know, our senior levels and managers want to see so what are all the tasks we are going to conduct so that we can complete this for this week and what we have planned we already will have a monthly progress reports like monthly schedule so at the you know at, at the end of the you know, month we you know, submit monthly progress report so uh, at each day we prepare and submit so in a similar way we have to prepare a weekly progress reports and submit at the weekly basis. So let's have prepared some uh, very interesting uh, formats and which I am going to explain you. So it's going to be very interesting. So I guess uh, I have so this is uh, this is something I have prepared and I'm even I'm using it. So this is going to be a very interesting for everyone to understand. So this is very effective and very precise. Like, uh, so this is the format it looks. This is very simple. Uh, there is nothing much about this. We can prepare. So if you know basic Excel, then you can do that. So similarly, we have suppose we are we write so whatever you want to write like contractor names. So contractor names. If you have to submit your know, weekly progress report, uh, weekly progress tables, uh, progress report <coughs> to the consultant, then you can also write the consultant names. If not, then your contract names and your project names and then date. And similarly, uh, date covering uh, covering so weekly progress tables. So uh, suppose we are going to ten for one week duration, simply. So you can. And which you can you know, this suppose this is your you know, first year starting projects. So depending upon your project size and depending upon your project activity, you can enlist the you know, one week activities. You might have you know, a monthly schedule. So from that schedule you can you know uh, import or you can simply write the project activities or project WPS or program structures or maybe the activities. You can write it in a similar way. So you can uh, uh, put as much as you can. So, the main thing is you have to consider that this is the task we are going to, you know, uh, start or it doesn't matter whether you will finish or not, but this is uh, this would uh, definitely make sure that this is the task we are going to start in this week. So, depending upon that, you can uh, you know, write your activities list or WP main heading list. So, I uh, have uh, simply uh, now written this is suppose this is a uh, project closing may not be at the first week may be later so you can write uh, something else like uh, project closing may not be there so you can delete this one <coughs> <coughs> similarly you can uh, put weightage weightage of your activities or weightage of the WBS there is no Things so the standards you have to put, you know, but you, you simply you can break down the percentage, weightage percentage of your depends on the BP quantity or depending upon the you know elemental structures. So you can the uh, simply you know verify and uh, I mean similar, you can break down the percentage, weightage percentage and put in like so it will over the hundred percent because whatever you do it uh, it comes at last to hundred percent. So within that hundred percent you can break down your each activities. And put uh, look relevant to weightage percentage. So there is nothing standard or there is nothing 
like that that we are making there. So it may be solve a string to have a huge solve structure which equals 30% or 45% maybe. In solve structure you can also you know have include certain activities if you, if you want to this. But if you want to make it the size or sort then you can work on the right WDs. So this is going to be the your weightage person. So this is the first trick. So you don't have community privilege, right? Because you are starting from the so variance uh, you can you know, variance like front minus so this is the cumulative cumulative is not the present plus <coughs> previous like uh, I'll tell you so, so let's say uh, this is the community previous you can do community previous then this period and overall community. so this is actually this is the week in this week we are going to suppose we have plan where which is percent of mobilization one percent suppose we have work in percent of and we have plan one percent because in this week we are going to complete one percent similarly this is our 30 percentage weightage for service structure imagine you are going to you know, complete the you know, plan it's not it's just plan it's not actual so suppose we were going to plan for 15 percent uh, in this week similarly uh, uh, super structure 45 percent then we have plan for 7 percent this week to complete in the MEP maybe 8 percent we have plan for 2 percent similarly 10 percent and uh, 10 percent uh, finishing works uh, we have uh, weight is 10 percent total uh, in finishing work is uh, 10 percent for certain activities and we have planned for may for five percent of plans and this we are going to complete five percent of the plans so nearly five percent this is the you know uh, weight is for the total activities that we are going to this is the five percent of works of a project uh, and we have planned for three percent similarly uh, testing and commissioning from five percent something like that but actually what uh, at the end of this this is your uh, initial initial consideration initial plan that you have planned for this that you are going to complete this one task so this is uh, this is your plan value and uh, at the end of this works you are going to you know update your schedule right? similarly as we update our you know monthly schedule in a similar way we are going to update your weekly schedule so this is your plan and actually what happens when you are updating on a reviewing your task what we see that that uh, we have planned for one person you complete one person we have planned for 15 persons that we have completed only 10%. Similarly, we have planned for 7%, we couldn't complete, we completed only 5% of the task. We have planned for 2%, but we completed, we suppose we have value 2% completed. Similarly, we planned for 5%, so, and even we couldn't start our finishing work. That's why okay, 0%. Similarly, we have planned for 3% out of 5%, we completed 1%. Suppose testing and commissioning uh, was 0.5%, similarly, we have planned, but we couldn't complete or maybe 0.3 percent to complete. So this is your this is the weekly period for the five operators. And variance you can see variance means the difference between and comparing a plan will actually value we get the variance. Suppose we have plan for one percent to so complete one percent that's why you get zero percent variance. Suppose we have plan for fifteen percent to so complete only ten percent the variance is five percent are lagging behind. So negative values will be lagging behind because we have planned something uh, some at some values, but we did not uh, get that uh, like we complete only five percent that would give you the two percentage. <coughs> Similarly, for other tasks, as it goes like that one, so the plan uh, variance is nothing but difference between the plan and the actual. So, in on the side, it may vary, right? You know, you, have, you might have planned for some to achieve you know 10 percent of the task, but it couldn't complete, or maybe we I uh, suppose we have planned for seven percent. Uh, and we achieve ten percent. It may be maybe the situation because we have manpower, we have resources in companies. So this is the plan value, but it may actually it may be less than plan or more than plan. So this is one. So overall cumulative. Now you want to you know uh, cumulate its for previous works and present total works. How much have completed so far in this? <coughs> Overall answer 
completed the previous plan plus uh, this group single actual uh, this uh, actual some uh, uh, previous actual plus single and different single so overall complete means previous plus present in the overall so as we input everything that I have can also see in the visual presentation this is your you know, simple can chart line so you can prepare I mean that and this is the community as you can also see in this overall this we come with we have planned for this is planned for 34 persons and uh, we have achieved you know 13 points in life so this is the actually we have this period we have got 